China is now working on next generation robots because a Chinese company is developing hyper realistic robots that can replicate emotions. China claims a breakthrough in emotional artificial intelligence with the unveiling of the world's first emotional robot. This machine, named Guanghua No. 1, is designed to mimic human emotions like happiness, sadness, and anger. But can a robot truly feel emotions, and how will this technology be used? Let's delve into the science behind Guanghua No. 1 and explore the potential benefits and challenges of emotional AI. China Emotional AI Robot China's groundbreaking development was unveiled at the 2024 World Artificial Intelligence Conference held in Shanghai, capturing global attention for its advanced capabilities and potential applications. Developed by researchers at Fudan University, Guanghua No. 1 stands at approximately 165 centimeters tall and weighs around 62 kilograms, dimensions that closely mimic the average human adult. This humanoid robot's design is not just about physical resemblance, but also about replicating human-like behavior and emotional responsiveness. Unlike previous generations of robots, which often exhibited limited and mechanical interactions, Guanghua No. 1 has been engineered to display and respond to a variety of emotions such as happiness, anger, sadness, and joy. The ability of Guanghua No. 1 to exhibit a wide range of facial expressions is particularly impressive. This feature allows the robot to convey emotions in a way that is easily recognizable to humans, fostering more natural and engaging interactions. The underlying technology integrates advanced facial recognition and motion capture systems, enabling the robot to not only simulate emotions, but also respond appropriately to the emotional cues of human interlocutors. The emotional responsiveness of Guanghua No. 1 is driven by sophisticated algorithms that interpret contextual data and simulate emotional states. For example, if a user expresses sadness, the robot can recognize this through its sensors and adjust its expressions and verbal responses to show empathy. This level of interaction is designed to make the robot appear more relatable and compassionate, bridging the gap between humans and machines. Flexibility is another key feature of Guanghua No. 1. Guanghua No. 1, a sophisticated humanoid robot, stands out due to its advanced capabilities, featuring 45 intelligent joints and a hierarchical generative embodied brain model. This combination of technology allows the robot to perform complex movements, such as manipulating objects with its hands and maintaining an upright posture while walking. These features make Guanghua No. 1 one of the most advanced humanoid robots currently in development. This physical agility, combined with its emotional intelligence, opens up a lot of potential applications. Goal and capabilities. The primary motivation behind the creation of Guanghua No. 1 is rooted in addressing the challenges posed by China's rapidly aging population. As the number of elderly individuals in China continues to grow, there is an increasing demand for innovative solutions to support their well-being. Guanghua No. 1 was developed to meet these needs, specifically focusing on the emotional and physical requirements of elderly individuals. One of the critical issues facing the elderly is the need for companionship and emotional support. Many elderly people experience loneliness and isolation, which can significantly impact their mental and physical health. Guanghua No. 1 aims to alleviate these issues by providing a source of interaction and engagement. The robot is designed to interact naturally with its human counterparts, understanding and responding to emotional cues and offering companionship. For instance, the robot can detect changes in a person's mood or behavior, offering timely support or alerting healthcare professionals if necessary. This proactive approach can help prevent issues from escalating and ensure that the elderly receive the care they need when they need it. In addition to emotional support, Guanghua No. 1 can assist with daily tasks that may become challenging for the elderly. Its intelligent joints and advanced brain model enable it to perform various physical activities, such as helping with household chores, fetching items, or even providing mobility assistance. This functionality can help elderly individuals maintain their independence longer, reducing the need for external care and support. The hierarchical generative embodied brain model is a key component of Guanghua No. 1's design. This model allows the robot to learn and adapt to its environment, 
improving its interactions and effectiveness over time. It can generate complex behaviors based on sensory inputs and past experiences, making it highly responsive and capable of handling a wide range of situations. This adaptability is crucial for providing meaningful assistance and companionship to the elderly, whose needs and environments can vary significantly. Gan Zhongshui Research Gan Zhongshui, the Deputy Dean of the Academy for Engineering and Technology at Fudan University, highlighted a crucial insight from their market research. Elderly care and health services are the most urgent areas where humanoid robots can make a significant impact. He emphasized that their vision is to develop a health companion robot that can offer personalized and empathetic care to the elderly. Gan pointed out that providing care through an emotionless, mechanical entity would not be effective. Genuine care, he stressed, requires emotional intelligence similar to the warmth and empathy one would expect from a family member. The focus on creating a health companion robot is rooted in addressing the unique challenges faced by the elderly population. As people age, they often require more personalized and consistent care. Traditional care methods, relying heavily on human caregivers, face huge limitations due to workforce shortages and the physical and emotional demands on caregivers. Humanoid robots, equipped with advanced AI and emotional intelligence, have the potential to fill this gap by providing consistent, reliable, and empathetic care. Guanghua No. 1, developed by Fudan University, stands out among the 18 humanoid robots showcased at the World Artificial Intelligence Conference this year. This robot is a significant advancement in the application of AI and robotics in healthcare. The Development Inspiration the development team behind Guanghua No. 1 took an innovative approach by drawing inspiration from the brain's motivation and dopamine reward mechanisms to enhance the robot's emotional intelligence. This groundbreaking work aims to bridge the gap between artificial and human intelligence by creating robots that can perceive and respond to human emotions in a more nuanced and effective manner. The brain's dopamine system plays a crucial role in motivation and reward. When we achieve a goal or experience something pleasurable, dopamine is released, reinforcing that behavior and encouraging us to repeat it. This reward mechanism helps us learn and adapt to our environment by associating positive outcomes with certain actions. The developers of Guanghua No. 1 sought to replicate this system within the robot to enable it to develop human-like perceptions and behaviors. To achieve this, they employed multi-level coordinated incentive algorithms. These algorithms simulate the brain's reward system, allowing the robot to receive rewards for performing certain actions or responding correctly to stimuli. For instance, if the robot successfully interprets a human's emotional state and responds appropriately, it receives positive reinforcement. This reinforcement helps the robot learn which behaviors are desirable and encourages it to develop better emotional intelligence over time. The development of Guanghua No. 1 required the collaboration of experts from a wide range of fields, including mechanics, biology, engineering, computer science, and big data. Each discipline brought its unique perspective and expertise to the project, contributing to a comprehensive and multifaceted approach to the robot's design and functionality. Mechanics experts were crucial in designing the robot's physical structure and ensuring that its movements and gestures could be both precise and expressive. They worked on creating a robot that not only looks human-like, but can also move and interact in ways that feel natural and intuitive to people. Biologists contributed their understanding of the human brain and behavior, helping to inform the algorithms and systems that underpin the robot's emotional intelligence. Their insights into how humans process emotions and respond to social cues were essential in developing a robot that can understand and mimic these processes. Engineering experts were responsible for integrating all the different components and systems into a cohesive and functional unit. They worked on the robot's hardware, ensuring that it could support the complex software needed for advanced emotional intelligence. Computer scientists and big data specialists played a vital role in developing the algorithms and processing the vast amounts of data needed to train the robot. They created multi-level coordinated incentive algorithms that mimic the brain's reward system and use big data to teach the robot 
how to interpret and respond to a wide range of human emotions. The development process for Guanghua No. 1 spanned two years, reflecting the complexity and ambition of the project. This extended timeline allowed the team to iterate on their designs, test their systems, and refine their algorithms to ensure that the robot could effectively understand and respond to human emotions. One of the key challenges the team faced was ensuring that the robot could process and interpret emotional cues in real time. Human emotions are complex and can be conveyed through subtle changes in facial expressions, body language, and tone of voice. The robot needed to be able to detect these cues quickly and accurately to respond appropriately. Achieving this required advanced machine learning techniques and significant computational power. Another challenge was ensuring that the robot's responses felt natural and genuine. The team wanted Guanghua No. 1 to not only understand human emotions, but also to express its own in a way that could build trust and rapport with people. This meant designing the robot's gestures, facial expressions, and vocal tones to convey empathy, concern, and other emotions authentically. Release and testing. Fudan University is set to release a trial version of the robot by the end of 2024. Guanghua No. 1 is designed with a specific focus on assisting the elderly, aiming to enhance their quality of life and provide support in daily activities. Currently, extensive testing is underway in various provinces, including Jiangsu and Zhejiang. These tests are critical in ensuring that Guanghua No. 1 meets the high standards of accuracy and safety required for assisting elderly individuals. The testing phase is comprehensive, covering a range of scenarios and tasks that the robot is expected to handle. One of the primary functions being tested is the robot's ability to assist elderly individuals in getting out of bed. This task involves several complex motions and requires the robot to be both gentle and precise to avoid causing any discomfort or injury. The robot must be able to understand the physical limitations and needs of each individual, adjusting its movements accordingly to provide the necessary support safely and effectively. In addition to helping with mobility, Guanghua No. 1 is being tested for its ability to accompany elderly individuals to the restroom. This task demands a high level of reliability and sensitivity as it involves navigating different types of environments and ensuring the individual's privacy and dignity. The robot needs to be capable of offering steady support while being able to respond to any sudden changes in the person's condition or surroundings. These testing scenarios are designed to push the robot's capabilities to their limits, ensuring that it can operate effectively in real-world situations. The feedback from these tests is crucial for the development team, as it provides insights into areas that may need improvement before the final version is released. The extensive tests in Jiangsu and Zhejiang also aim to assess the robot's adaptability to different home environments. Elderly individuals live in a variety of settings, each with its unique challenges and obstacles. Guanghua No. 1 must be able to navigate these environments smoothly, avoiding potential hazards while providing continuous support to its users. Safety is a paramount concern in the development of Guanghua No. 1. The testing phase includes rigorous assessments of the robot's sensors and algorithms to ensure it can detect and respond to potential dangers. This includes avoiding obstacles, recognizing when an individual might be at risk of falling, and providing alerts in case of emergencies. The robot's ability to learn and adapt to the specific needs of each user is also being fine-tuned during this phase. If you have made it this far, let us know what you think in the comments section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.